CBS4 and the Denver Museum of Nature and Science have teamed up to bring you exclusive access to a triceratops discovered in Thornton. It's pretty cool stuff. This morning, the museum unveiled some of the fossils they discovered at the site where workers were building a new police station in Thornton. Now scientists believe crews may have found the most complete dinosaur skeleton from that age ever, ever. Our Stan Bush has spent the week with those scientists and was there for today's unveiling. So a lot of excitement, Stan. This discovery just keeps getting more exciting. Uh, it keeps getting more exciting and frankly, it just keeps getting better, Alan. This is the uh, chunk of fossils that was uncovered to the public today. What you're looking at here is the horn of the Triceratops and it goes all the way into the eye here. So if you're look, taking a look on a model, this is the portion right here and this spot that you see up above, that's one of the dinosaur's shoulder blades. So what they found here is a skeleton that's been pushed in all sorts of different places, but you know, no big deal. It's only about 60 6 million years old. Now this dis was discovered by a construction worker who was in the area and he only saw about an inch of this when it first got uncovered but then he got the work to stop and then the discoveries really started to come and it gave paleontologists to see just how much there was and boy have they been surprised. This is a historic find for Colorado and for paleontology that makes it one of the best finds ever. Well there are only a handful of complete triceratops skeletons known from anywhere in the Rocky Mountain West. So this could join some of those really important complete finds of, of this really iconic horned dinosaur. Now since the discovery, we at CBS4 have worked closely with the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, getting unprecedented up close access to the dig site. We've been on the scene with them as they've found new bones. And over the next few weeks, we'll be giving you exclusive stories on the progress of the Thornton Triceratops you'll see only on CBS4. Now that team is back up in Thornton right now at the dig site. And what you're looking at is a live picture. Last night, the team uncovered a tooth from from a T-Rex that may have actually been feeding on this Triceratops. So the whole picture of what this area looked like 66 million years ago is finally coming back together. Now, for fans of dinosaurs, for fans everywhere around the state, there's a great chance for you to actually come to the museum now and see this Triceratops. It'll be up in prehistoric journey uh, as they slowly uncover the plaster, as they slowly take away the sediment and start working on the science. So starting this weekend, you'll be able to see this fossil in person, Alan. Hmm. I'm fascinated by this T-Rex losing its tooth. I mean, I've done that on, on shells before. I, so this is not the first time you've reported on a dinosaur <laughs> find in Colorado, Stan. And I know you worked with the museum when mammoths were found in snow bass in 2011. So this is a, another great partnership deal we've got going here. It is, Alan. First of all, uh, sorry about your tooth and the shellfish. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I tend to get a lot of the uh, breaking prehistoric news that we get out here. Uh, six years ago, we were up in Snowmass where the team uncovered a mammoth that was about 60,000 years old. And as they started to uncover that fossil, they dug down deeper and they found mastodons, which were separated by another 50,000 years. So huge discoveries. We've been all over and we look forward to bringing viewers more on this in the future. Yeah, so much to learn. Awesome, Stan. Thanks a lot. Great to see you involved there. Again, CBS4 is very excited to partner with the Museum of Nature and Science for this historic discovery. Look for our exclusive reports continuing today and into the future.